Hello everyone and welcome back to Fig Detective. Now in the last video we found something really strange in a staff member's room. So, what is he up to? So, let's take the elevator down and let's go to the lobby. Then we can go out the main front doors. Now, and see where everyone is hiding, but first... The loon is out! The loon is out! Doyle the loon loon again escapes from Barkham. Big Town is in fear as Barkham Correction Facility, BCF, announces the most hair-raising prison break in its short history. Critics of the facility have always pointed out that the most recent conversion of the bankrupt sanitarium left much to be desired in regards to modern safety standards for high security prisons. They were now proven right. Markham's most notorious inmate has tunneled himself to freedom with what appears to have been a spoon. Big Town's new chief of police shows himself to be appalled. I am appalled, he told our reporter, while Barkham's main warden, Mr. Bilt, promises to restrict the distribution of spoons to Barkham's inmates at the kitchen's earliest convenience. Full story on page four. I'll get him for this. Oh, get him for this. Having a known criminal of Doyle the Loon Loonigan's caliber about isn't safe for the population in general. There is, however, one amongst Big Town's law-abiding citizens who should be more afraid than the general public. The pig who brought the loon to justice. I'll get him for this, was reportedly scrawled repeatedly on the walls of the deserted prison cell. The crude drawings that accompany this message make it clear that the subject of the loon's hate is the same pig detective who busted his operation earlier this year. Pig Detective was unavailable for comment due to being on vacation, as his secretary, Miss Eller, informed our reporter. Story continues on page 13. Jesus. Balloon. He's out. Oh my god. That explains literally so many things, because uh, in the first one we caught the first one he was already in jail and oh no and this is gonna ruin us very deeply so let's go to the beach instead let's just have a little relaxation beach time oh that that's just gonna annoy me now that this whole play for the loons out and he's after pig detective That door's open. I'm going in. We're not at the pool. Ah. That's the pool. Oh, no. Oh, no. Cat. I say, Porky. Now, what do we have here? I reckon it looks like the police line at a crime scene. Do not cross. Ha, 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 ha. It says no trespassing. That's not the proper detective spirit, Porky. This needs to be investigated. Follow me. <laughs> I love cat. I love cat now. Let's follow him. Let's be no good law abiding citizen. Oh my god. It's called ancient ruins. A generator. Aha. I don't care what it is. I'm, I'm, I'm on vacation. Are you for real, Porky? How can a single pig be so boring? Well, you run around now and be done. I'm going to stay here and investigate because I'm a detective. Detectives are curious and dead. Oh, you know what? Screw it. I'm, I'm. You know what? If you, if you want me to be a detective, I'll be a bloody detective. Oh, 
Just do nothing. Go on, decide. Is that the monster? <laughs> it was a movie. Are you okay? What do you think you're doing here? This is a film set, not a boardwalk. Actually, I don't want to hear it. Get out of there and stand over here. And don't make a sound. I'm so tired of this scene, I'm going to scream! Oops. Everybody on their marks. Taking it from Mr. Gander's speech. Light. Camera. And action. I. Cut. What is it now? I found this plug. <laughs> I love Cat Detective now. And who are you? I am Cat Detective, the greatest detective of all time. Can't believe you people. This is a film set, not a fun fair. Uh, I think that's the cable for the generator. I found it. I'm a very great detective. Found it? It was connected to a big noise machine. That machine is a power generator. It generates power. Power that we need for our shooting. So kindly put the plug back where you found it at once. Not going to. This machine is noisy. It disturbs my peace. Peace that I need for my relaxation. I'm here on vacation. And I'm trying to make a motion picture. You know what? Wrap it up. I'm tired of this. I was trying to save your life. Oh, don't give me that. You knew full well we were making a film. Um. And you knew there was a monster. How do I know you knew? I know you knew because I told you. You never listened to me, do ya? All these years passed and I was hoping something would have changed between us. But you just don't listen. I hate you. Well, you certainly have a way with the ladies, Porky. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Thank you, pig. Now, let's investigate. Look, okay, here's a detective game, remember? You can investigate. So, this is the scene where. Yeah. Connect. Okay. Cover here. This looks like a nice spot for snorkeling. Are there tropical fish down there? Okay, we can go snorkeling. Please say we can, because that does get very. What's up, Mr. Pig? You want to borrow some snorkeling equipment? Yes. Snorkeling equipment means flippers and goggles, dude. So you can make like the fish. 
Too bad, man. Looks like I can't let you have the snorkeling equipment. You see, hotel rules and regulations specify you have to be properly attired for any ocean activities. Properly attired means bathing suit and cap, at least. Which you are presently not wearing. Now that seems bad, but it is not unfixable. You can always change, dude. Come back when you've changed. Okay, let's change. That's simple. Jane, come back here. Ah, thank you, simple. I'm not in the proper attire, apparently. <laughs> I'm not in the proper attire, apparently. Oh, I am so happy. I'm gonna die. Can you rip? Whoop! Blah blah blah. There you go. Swimming suit with cap. Here we are. So now we're basically naked. Yes, now we're back with proper attire. Hey there, Mr. Pig. Now this is what I call proper ocean attire. Very stripey, dude. You want to have the flippers and the goggles now? Here you go. Now you can make like the fish, dude. Thanks, Galerus. Let's swim. Plop. Plop. Uh, excuse me. I actually haven't done any snorkeling before. Wow, it's not rocket science. Just dive straight in. You'll pick it up as you go. Isn't it dangerous down there? Don't worry, there's nothing dangerous down there. All the dangerous stuff happens at the old reef, on the other side of the island. The old reef is nuclear, dude. But it's totally safe over here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Push him in! The hell? Get some ads, get some ads, get some ads, get some ads, get some ads. Uh. You're doing good, Mr. Pig. <laughs> oh no, dude. Okay, go, 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 Are you 
okay. Well, what have I missed? Oh, 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 oh. That's Neil, that's Neil, that's Neil. And we explode. Did you scare the fish? <laughs> hey, Mr. Pig, are you done snorkeling already? Come back, any? No, I'm actually gonna. Hey there, Mr. Cause uh, I'm gonna do something dangerous. But I will do that in the next episode. Oh you all guys enjoyed it. One, two, three, dream.